Welcome back. WFXR is your local election headquarters. A wealthy but nationally unknown mother from California is joining the race for the White House as Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s vice presidential running mate. The campaign is already worrying some Democrats and Republicans who fear it will take some votes away from their candidates. Fox News correspondent Lucas Tomlinson has more. It's true. I will be the youngest vice president in American history. 38-year-old Nicole Shanahan, a relatively unknown California attorney and philanthropist, now in the national spotlight as Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s running mate. The duo running on the independent ticket, hoping to attract young voters and Americans unenthusiastic with the idea of a possible rematch of the 2020 election between now President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. If you are one of those disillusioned Republicans, I welcome you to join me, a disillusioned Democrat, in this movement to unify and heal America. Kennedy's campaign has spooked Democrats, many who worry he will sap support from Biden and throw the election for Trump. There is absolutely no path for Kennedy to become president, and he knows that. That is why he picked a VP who can fund, who can buy his way onto the ballot in a number of states. The possible impact of Kennedy's campaign also not lost on Trump allies. Trump's campaign director releasing a statement Tuesday writing, quote, RFK Jr. is a radical leftist, an environmental whack job who loves EV mandates, wants to end the gasoline-powered engines. He's no independent. Kennedy's campaign announcement comes as the latest Fox News poll finds he is pulling 13 percent of the vote among registered voters. Meanwhile, a new AP poll finds about four in ten adults are fearful of another Trump term, while three in ten feel about the same about another four years with Biden. Next on RFK Jr.'s list of things to do, collecting signatures to qualify for state ballots. In Washington, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.